Hello precious people, I'm Jacqueline Parks. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we are talking about why I'm quitting watercolor. Like I'm done with watercolor paint. I don't want to do it anymore. Um, I found something else that I like to use for painting and I think you'll agree with me that it is much better. Um, so some of you know I've been using some gouache lately and the reason I like it is because you can paint pretty thick and it's not translucent unless you want it to be. So that is kind of one of the reasons that I am going that direction. Also, I um, hope you all had a great Easter. Um, I was, I did a live video on Saturday in my Bible, so some Bible art journaling. That was really fun. And it was, um, it was on um, Jesus revealing himself to Mary first on Resurrection Day. So that was pretty cool. So I hope you all had a blessed Easter and that you were able to um, spend time with family and enjoy good food. And of course, be in the word. We went to sunrise service and it was really nice. Um, because my daughter, she's like, let's go to sunrise service. So we all got up super early and did that, which I think it ended up being wonderful. And um, of course, then the kids slept the rest of the day. <laughs> and um, I ended up, you know, doing some cooking before people came over. And then my husband fixed our fence and he's redesigning how you can uh, get the trailer into the backyard and things like that. So... But anyways, yeah, so I know you probably are shocked by me quitting watercolor. And um, I have some scripture here that's kind of helpful for me to um, think about changing gears. So Ephesians 4.23 says to be made new in the attitude of your mind. So we got to use our minds, but we also have to have new attitudes sometimes. And then Isaiah 43.19 says, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So I may want to do um, streams in the wasteland. That sounds like it would be a fun painting. Um, but I also think that today is April 1st. So shock, shock, April Fools. I'm not actually quitting watercolor. I love watercolor, I enjoy it, and um, it's a wonderful medium. But let's get started with some gouache today. And I'm actually going to do some mixed media for you. So you don't have to, if you're an artist, you don't have to stick to one medium. You don't. And in fact, I've actually been looking into some um, oil painting um, that's water soluble. So I'm really curious about it. I want to explore that um, I'm kind of saving up some money to buy a nice set I don't want to just get some kind of um, wonky set but um let's see so I'm seeing that my video is kind of um, pausing probably um, I don't know if we have a bad connection you know what's going on my phone is not even even connected to Wi-Fi Oh, wait, right now it is. I'm not really sure why it's a bad connection, to be honest. But we will try our best to do what we're going to do. I'm going to go on YouTube and just look and see what the um, video is showing. Because now I have a green square. So during my OBS live, I have like a whole, um, you know, setup where I can switch, you know, from my desk view to this camera front view and then I can you know add photos and references and things in there so that's kind of how I judge whether or not you guys can hear me see me things like that um, but right now it looks like maybe oh let me mute my phone but let me see sometimes it's very smooth sometimes it's like choppy so I'm gonna keep an eye on the little green square in my OBS and see if it's 
going red. I'm going to keep my phone on so I can see if the video is pausing. And if it is, then we're just going to have to, I don't know. But this is a painting I started and I really wanted to get it done by my friend's birthday. And um, this is done in watercolor. And I was following a tutorial on Skillshare. So I have not, um, I'm doing a one month free trial of Skillshare. Um, so far I'm not finding that there's anything on there that's more information than what you can find for free on YouTube. So I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with that. I'll let, you know, I'll do some more um, classes on there. It does give you little, um, it does give you some little badges as you complete classes and if you comment and if you post a project that you've done and things like that. So it's really um, encouraging. It's a, it, the app is super encouraging. So I would say if you're not very self-motivated that you do need those little badges and reward system to get you going that maybe you should try it. Um, and I think my, um, my friend Leron, who's on YouTube, he has a link to try it for free. So I don't know if he gets any, um, perks from people joining through his link, but that's how I joined it. So if you guys go to his channel, you can probably check it out there. Also, I want to give a shout out to my friend, Laura. Look at these beautiful little earrings she made for me, custom made. Because I have a, um, a shirt that has these cute little mushrooms on it. And I, I wanted some earrings to go with that shirt. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. It is kind of crazy, I guess. But So I said, hey, can you make me some earrings that go with that? And I sent her a picture of the shirt. And this is what we got. So it looks super pretty. And it actually goes with other outfits. Like I'm just wearing this peach shirt. And oh, she also fixed my turtle um, necklace. The... Um, to come out of the clamp and she has all the tools to do all that anyway so let's transition back to this so this is for my friend who loves um who loves flamingos and i did do this and i'm not gonna be sad if i end up ruining this but i'm gonna do some mixed media i think i love doing mixed media and i don't know if you guys do as well but I'll be honest, I really think that um, we can get some really pretty stuff with mixed media. Now, if you're afraid to mess up a painting, guess what? Here's my painting from last time. And um, and see, I really like how some of these colors look. But you know what? Let's get real exciting because there was some mud. And sometimes when you over mix your paints, you get mud. But look at all these colors I have, y'all. And this is a gouache set that my friend Linda Ball gave me. So I don't know if she's in the chat, but if she is, hello, Linda. I know she doesn't comment because she normally um, watches online on her TV. So let me get some more uh, tea to drink. Now, one thing I will say, let me zoom in so y'all can see better. So zoom, too much zoom, I don't know, too much zoom. I'm just going to leave it right there. And I'm using this tray. This tray is great. Oh, here's a little thing I did that was mixed media. So see, it has some ribbon, it has some gouache paper, a cutout, and it's just cool. It's on a little canvas. This is like two inch by two inch, so it's kind of small and fun. You can do lots of stuff with it. Um, but this, you don't want to use your really super nice watercolor, um, brushes. Instead, you want to get something that's like, it's a watercolor brush, but you want to designate it for your gouache. So this is a 10 round. I'm not even sure where I got this from, but I like that it's still a soft brush tip. So we're going to look and see what happens when I wet this and just kind of start spreading this around and look at the thickness of that I love it 
and see how it's going to change the feel of this painting. It's already changed because it's pink. And so I'm just going to do some more over here and it's super thick. Look at how it's covering everything up. Now it may reactivate some of the watercolor underneath, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna... But when we're dealing with some mixed media stuff, I really, I want you guys to know that there's a lot of play involved. Oh, don't tell me I can't open this. You guys ever have a hard time opening? I need to get some pliers and keep them in here. What color is that? Yellow. I like yellow. Does yellow and pink look good together? I don't know. It may. It may turn like a coral color if I mix them too. Let's see. I haven't mixed colors at all. I'm doing straight from the two. And that's one thing from the Skillshare. I was following Jane Davis, I think. And she does watercolor tutorials. And those were very um, interesting because she used the paint straight from her tube. She did not use a palette to mix her paint colors. And I was kind of blown away. And she answered me right away, y'all. So that was really awesome that she answered me right away when I asked her a question about that. I was kind of like, why are you doing that? And she just told me, basically that it's easier um, to use it that way for her. And she started doing it to save, um, save, out, save her paints, like not waste her paints, I guess, by mixing too much of something. So that was one of the reasons why she did that too. Now y'all, I have no glue on my desk. Where is my glue? Did I put my little bag of tricks in here um let me check let me check in my bag sometimes ooh, a pair of scissors i'm always losing scissors y'all i have like a hundred pairs of scissors and I'm, i still can never find them which is crazy because you would think i would be able to find some scissors when i'm looking for them but nope I'm always like, I need to buy another set of scissors, like a 10 pack or something. All right, I don't see any glue in there. And when you're doing mixed media, you kind of need some glue. So hold on, I'm looking at all my usual spots for some glue. Where's my glue? Where's my glue? Ooh, but I found a big chunky marker that's kind of cool oh and some wink stella y'all i'm finding some cool stuff see it's good to lose something so that you can try and find new stuff that you didn't know you had um but still no glue no glue i'm sad no glue um oh wait i found some glue yay so but look at all these I found in my bag. We are going to use all of them because we are trying new things. Hey, Susie. Good morning. Um, I'm glad you're joining us today. So I'm doing some mixed media. So this was a watercolor painting and I just put some gouache on top. So I just used some different colored gouache that I had. Um, kind of laying around. I have 60 tubes of gouache, but I kind of separated out some in different color families so that I can get um, just like a quick grab instead of having to get the whole set of 60 out. So, wow, why are you quitting watercolors? Okay, so at the beginning of the video, I was telling everyone how um, I want to try something else i want to do gouache instead because it's opaque instead of translucent but you can make it translucent if you want um and then i was talking also about some um 
water soluble oil paints that I want to try. But to be honest, if you look at your calendar, today is April 1st, so I was kind of playing a trick. I'm not going to quit watercolor completely. I love watercolor. But I do want to try new things. So, and I think that it's important as artists that we are always trying something new. We don't want to get stagnant. We don't want to stay um, in one spot and, um, you know, do something that's boring to us because we get bored as artists, I think. And I do. So I really have been, I've been enjoying doing mixed media. So if you can see this. This is a cute little canvas. So, ah ha ha. Okay, thank you for laughing. I'm glad. I hope I didn't upset anyone. I like playing tricks, but not mean tricks um, on April 1st. But, um, so yeah, this is mixed media. So basically what I did was um, I glued some, like, pages from a book. Then I painted some gouache. I added some washi tape, some ribbon, a little sticker saying. So I bought these stickers from, I don't even know where I got these ones. Maybe Michael's. Um, and then this is a watercolor with a stamped bird. And I could even color it in, but it's a white dove. So I was just going to leave it white. So, and then this, I can add a magnet onto the back. So I got these magnets from Michaels and you can just glue it right on the back and that becomes a cute little magnet that you can put on your fridge. So I like doing mixed media. It's fun. It's, it's more interesting at times. Um, so I got you <laughs> and you agree you like mixed media. Yeah, I like it. Um, I want to do a class on mixed media. Like, if you live near me, I would love for us to get together and just kind of play and have fun with some mixed media. Um, I think that would be super fun. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Look at this. I'm just putting gouache straight on the paper. And that's something that, you know, I don't really do with my watercolors. Because usually a whole tube of watercolor, actually a half a tube of this, is like 10 bucks and I think this whole set of gouache was very inexpensive I think it was 50 or 60 dollars and it comes with 60 tubes so that would be like a dollar tube rather than 10 bucks for a tube so I also think um, you know as artists we need to um, try new things and explore new ideas just because it helps us grow as an artist and I know for for December I was doing that um, one a day um, painting and posting like the countdown to Christmas and then people were like oh you need to keep doing that and it was like okay so I tried to keep painting every day and then um, every day got kind of stressful but I still try to do one once in a while, um, or I'll do like a week of just painting a different subject matter. Like when I painted all the eyes, those were really cool. I enjoyed doing that. So what did you say, Susie? Really love mixed media and mini art. See, I love that too. I love little small stuff. Um, and I think it's, it makes it more affordable for people to buy. Um, so if you ever plan on selling your art, um, Susie, that would be something that you keep in mind um, is that smaller art pieces can um, can really help get um, artwork into the hands of people who want it. Um, and I do follow this Emily Howard, I think, on Instagram, and she does some mini artwork that she has started to call like the affordable art work um affordable art project I guess is what she called it I'm not 100% sure so but see I am completely covering up everything on here and some artists might be like oh no you're ruining it but I don't think so I think I'm 
playing and having fun. And if we're not having fun, what is the point? It, I don't create art to make money. I create it because I love it. Now, I do keep in mind stuff that does sell. And um, I do follow this um, couple on YouTube. They have a great channel that's dedicated to supporting. Um, oh, thank you for the hearts. Um, um, the they support artists and have like a podcast that really um, helps artists to navigate being an artist and like the things you, you should focus on as an artist, things like that. And so they're pretty cool. They're uh, Rafi and Klee. And um, so I'm not really sure. I might have to update the description for this video <laughs> just so that people can find some of the stuff I've been talking about. So, as you can see, this has been really cool, like how I'm just painting green over the blue. And so, I have some of this really kind of, I don't know, just paper. And I may end up putting some glue on there. Like I said, I had to find my glue. And I think that's still kind of wet, but it's okay. Um, and I'm not gonna be too to whatever. I'm not going to be too precise in anything. This is playtime right now. So I'm just like enjoying playing, putting stuff on here. Um, I think it's going to have enough glue on there that it can do that. These are just little pieces of paper I tore. And I'm just going to layer them and see what happens. And you can use um, anything you want to glue it on there. You can use gesso. I do have some gesso I can use. You can just let the paint that you're putting on there kind of be the glue. I've already kind of put some dabs of glue on there. Um, white Elmer's glue I think is fine. Um, but I have found there's one particular glue that I super duper like. It is, well, not glue, but it's like a, um, a medium enhancer thingy. Where did I put it? It's, it's not this stuff. It's, it's kind of like Liquitex acrylic. Um, I forget what it's called. Matte medium, I think is what it's called. Matte medium. Oh, you're welcome for the info, Susie. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like. We don't have to stick to one thing. We can do so many things and, and have fun doing it. So right now I'm almost making a mosaic, if, you, if that kind of makes sense here. And I might do some of that there. I don't know, I just have so much stuff in my, in my craft room. I've been a Stamping Up demonstrator for a million years. Well, 17, which seems like a long time, really. Um, <laughs> And I have so many stamps, y'all. It's just crazy how many stamps I have. So if I have way too many stamps now, um, I think to myself, what can I do with them instead of just selling them? Because right now, I don't think this selling stuff is really worth it. I've, I've tried to, actually. I've put some out there, and it's like nobody wants it. It's so sad. Um, and I don't know... If that's why Close to My Heart is kind of going out of the out of business, Stamping Up did uh, acquire them, I guess, and that's cool um, for the demonstrators and that hobby. So, oops, that's upside down. I thought you will be able to read it. Um, what else do I have on here? Do I have any more like little pieces of paper? No. But I might have some, like, hiding behind my computer. Let me see. Well, I did have, like, a whole... I had a whole bunch of that book stuff that was just being right there on my desk. But now, where did I put it? Who knows? Who knows? Um... But yeah, you can take old books. If you have a library near you, this is where I get a lot of my old books. They have that free section in the front of our library. 
and it actually you just go in there they they tell you don't don't take more than one obviously um but i would say that it's really you could go in there and 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 take probably two or three i don't think they'll they'll be like policing it so it'll be okay um let me get some decorative paper i'll be right back I don't know. I'm going to grab some paper and we'll, we'll do some fun stuff. Um, so, all right. So I have this stuff that I think I got from a Target dollar bin, maybe a million years ago. And of course I keep it because I don't throw things away. And it has some pretty gold, shiny, shiny stuff. It's, it was more for Christmas. It has snowflakes. So I have that. But this is Stampin' Up! And they have some really pretty 6x6 paper that's already watercolored. And I'm almost hesitant to use it because, of course, what do we do? We hoard. If we are artists, we hoard stuff. Crafters hoard all their supplies <laughs> but look how many I have I seriously can use some of that and it kind of goes doesn't it kind of go with my painting um Susie says I first fell in love with art from mixed media artists blogs years ago oh so that you've been doing mixed media for a while then um all right so I'm gonna just get brave I'm gonna get brave and tear y'all tear and I don't know if I'm Tell me if I'm doing this as good as some of the other people that you follow, Susie, because I feel like I'm a newbie to this whole mixed media thing. Like, I've been a, cra a paper crafter, but I haven't really been doing mixed media. I just kind of started playing around. And for me... That's what it started out as, just kind of having fun playing with the supplies I have because I didn't want to, now that I'm a watercolor artist, I didn't want to just stop being a crafter. I still want to craft. I still want to enjoy doing stuff. So this green or this, I don't know, this is kind of pretty. And I need more glue. Now, this paper, I will tell you, is way thicker than book paper. So, it's definitely going to be challenging to get it to do what I want it to do. So, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fine. I'm just kind of putting stuff here and there. Because, as you probably know, Susie, this is one of those things where after you create your kind of background stuff you can paint over it so that's my kind of plan I guess plan I'm gonna do but I think if I water this down a little bit it'll make it easier to stick stick it down and see I'm I'm pretty much just experimenting this is all just experimentation um, I do kind of like that area, but I wanted to put this kind of tree looking thing. And now it don't really look like a tree, but that's okay. Oops. So I'm just putting some of that green in there as well. Stick down. So, um, you really didn't start until recently, regrettably. Um, well, at least we're starting now, right? I feel the same way sometimes. It's like, why did I wait so long to do watercolor? Because I only started doing watercolor in 2020 based on what my, um, my sister wanted me to do for her as a mermaid. Well, look at that yellow. kind of goes with that butterfly shape of the wing. Maybe I'll do that. Just kind of lay it down. 
can use it. So, so far so good. I think I'm enjoying this process. It may not be perfect, but that's okay. Now, this beautiful sky, I have punches. And what if I want a big, beautiful flower? That might be fun, right? So I'll just put some glue. Hey, do you watch um, Shabba Dabba Do? Is that her name? I'm always bad with, with people's names. But I think she does a lot of just junk journaling. So I don't know if you've done junk journaling or not. I really have found that that's fun. Now look at that. And I just kind of smeared some of the paint on there. Do I want it on there? I could probably clean that and then wipe it off. Even though it's not watercolor paper, it might end up, I don't know, it might look okay. So, so far so good. I'm getting this. And I was thinking about doing something with this with like um, a page out of a book right here. Like cut out a page and glue it in here. And then I could do some flowers right here, like mixed media, punched out pretty flowers, and maybe some gold leaf veins through this. And then like write some scripture because she loves Jesus too. So I may end up doing that with, um, with that piece. But now see, this is pretty cool. I have a whole, you know, I have a whole bucket of just flowers cutouts that I've had for a bunch of years like I don't even know how old this stuff is it's like really really old but I may end up I think there were some butterflies in here too let me see um there's some little flowers um I don't saw a butterfly in there here's a, a little blue butterfly with some textured embossing on it is a little pink one and a super teeny tiny green one so i might use all that it might be fun to do oh you like that idea with the swan yes definitely um and we can always you know repaint it on another piece of uh, watercolor paper so it's not like it's the end all be all if i mess it up and that's one thing I think that I've noticed. And I do teach some classes in person. Um, I'm always impressed with how everything turns out in the end. Um, but I do know that um, a lot of the students want to have it look the way it looks. How they want it to look at the end. So like basically they're, they're like, well, it doesn't look like what I want it to look like. And I'll be like, well, not yet, because watercolor, you're all about layers, right? So a ton of times, there's an ugly stage to your painting. I mean, super ugly stage. Um, so I, I know that some people worry, oh, it looks ugly, and it's like, you should see me, like, paint from start to finish. Go watch any of my live videos. You'll see how I start off, and it's just kind of a hot mess. And, um, which side do I like better? Each new. But I'll put this right there. What do you think? Might need some more flowers. So, see, right now... And I'm not too worried about glue. I let glue be wherever glue wants to be. Um, I may end up painting over this with some more gouache. Because that's what I love about the gouache is it's so thick. Y'all, it can be used for doing a lot of things. Um, so I may end up, what color is this? That's burnt sienna. I don't like that. So I think I was using this on the... On the wings? Was I using this on the wings? I don't know. It says pearl, too. It's kind of shimmery. So that's pretty cool. We'll try some shimmer. 
So watch. I'm just going to take this. <clears throat> Let me get some more tea. I always, I don't know why. I always lose my, lose my voice. It's probably because I'm not used to talking, but that's okay. So I'm going to put some like little, and this is way more translucent. I don't know if you can see. This is super translucent. So I may have to switch to something else that'll shine or be more less opaque less opaque so actually switch to something more opaque if I want it to stand out it is kind of pretty I'm a like, pretty like painted over these little flowers maybe a little bit on this one because it is shimmery maybe a little bit on that and then add some. If I keep it thick, it kind of is. You can't see what I'm doing. If I keep it thick, I think then it, it makes it really kind of cool. And I just want some big circles too. Maybe I'll make them big. And as you layer, it doesn't matter, but it's just kind of cool. Oh, Susie, have you ever tried um, abstract art? Because that's where I really began in college was doing abstract, abstract art, which I really liked. So, I don't know. Sometimes when I zoom in on something, it could become very abstract. And then from far away, of course, it's a butterfly. Which I'm really loving how this already has transformed. I don't know if you guys like it, but I really kind of like it. And I'm just making big blob marks. Big blob marks. So. But yeah, I use a, um, this is an old cookie sheet. Because sometimes I want to drip some ink. And if you make a big mess on your desk that would not be good <laughs> but um so i'm really liking how this looks it looks kind of pretty um and sometimes when something's kind of wet i'll just re-wet this a little bit maybe and i use the tip of my brush i have several i think i have one that's kind of smaller this one has like a point and you can write words into this. You can scrape. I don't think I can scrape here. No, that's got paper. And that's too dry. So this is good. I was trying to write the word love. And it's just the V and the E turned out good. So I may end up waiting for that to dry and adding some marker because look at all these markers I found in my bag that I totally forgot. Look how big this one is. I don't even know what it will do. Like it's pretty dry right here. So let's see what happens. So we'll just add some dots. Do we like that? <laughs> um, so no, you haven't tried abstract art, but you like it. Yeah, I like I like seeing what people make um, with their abstract art. So look at that. That's really juicy, nice pen. I like this. I don't know why I've been hiding it away in my bag. Oh. And this is dry-ish, so I can make like the circles that are on a butterfly wing. That's kind of pretty. I can do some stuff on their body. But I don't want to get ink in my pen, or paint in my pen, so I'm going to let some of this area kind of dry. Um, so I don't know if I can carve into this again. No, it's still really... Kind of wet. Um, 
that's okay. And I do have a heat tool gun that I can use if like things are taking too long to dry. But I just heard someone, oh, that's my daughter. She was so good and uh, took her stepbrother to his mama's house for me because he needed to get over there early this morning. And uh, I was like, I can't, I'm doing my live video. But um, so this is turning out pretty. I like it. And I may end up doing some more flowers over here. I think it needs some more flowers. So what do we want to put in there? Do we want to put some blue flowers? Do we want to put some, some more of these little orange flowers? Uh, maybe. I like those colors. Um... Could put a pink flower, but there's already kind of pink in there. Um, let's see, that's kind of why I keep some stuff here so that I can kind of go through it and use use whatever's on my desk. I've always told people, I'm like, just use what's on your desk. You don't need anything fancy. Um, so I kind of like those. I like those. Those are good. I'll just put some glue again. I need to get like 10 pack of this. That's what I need. So that I can always have a glue in like every bag I own. Which I don't know if you're like me and own a ton of bags. But I do. I have a ton of bags. I don't know if I like those overlapping like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, you like the touches of little flowers as well yes I think these little flowers are making it and was that Arteza Artesia is that how you pronounce it yes so this is um the 60 pack or whatever kit there's like 60 tubes of paint and there's so many colors like you would never run out like never like if you don't if you ran out of this pink it has this pink. And if you run out of that pink, it has this pink. I mean, they're similar. So you could... Actually, this is peach. The one thing my friend said that she didn't like about this um, set was that when you open it, the color is not the color of the label. So this looks like a pink to me. But inside is a peach. So I'll show you real quick. I'll just squeeze out a little bit. So it's almost skin tone to me but let's see what happens if I smear it out but I do like how thick gouache is and I've been watching a few videos of people who use gouache just to get some ideas from them so I like it um I don't know if that made it too light now um but it's just pretty. It's springy, y'all. And I love that. It's warm out today. I went outside and it was so nice. I was like, yes. Spring is coming. I cannot wait. So I may end up making this like little tiny dots going into there. And then make larger dots up here maybe. That's what I'll probably do. I don't know kind of kind of weird um but some people say mark making is a very important thing to do so you know i could do stuff like this i could stamp and then um like the dots and i like writing words So my handwriting, people say, is kind of pretty. So I might, I might do some words with the black. Um, I don't know. Do I want to do any more with this? It's kind of black. I don't know. I'll put the lid back on it for now. Um, so yeah, I kind of like that. 
you're going to try that set? Yeah. And you can always use coupons. Um, if you don't have a coupon, um, you should download their Michaels app because they have, um, they have coupons, but then you also earn rewards. So like a lot of times I go in there and I leave with paying zero dollars and I, I have like $10 in rewards. So I'll just end up going in there and picking out something for 10 bucks and then going home, you know, and it's like, woohoo, I got free stuff. Well, it feels like free stuff, but hmm. let's see. What else do I want to do on this thing? Do I want to add some green leaves? I feel like it needs, I don't know what it needs. What do you think it needs? See, this is one I would probably get on the internet and be like Googling ideas on Pinterest and Instagram and all that to get some more, some more fun ideas. But I do think there's value in experimenting on your own. And look what else I have, which I haven't used but like two things off of here. And these are like really fancy little gems. Um, these are called garden gems from Stampin' Up. You know, I buy so much stuff from Stampin' Up and I don't ever hardly use it. So I might end up putting some gems. I don't know, should I put some gems on here? Might be fun. Might be fun, might be fun to do. Um, I don't know. Put them all over the place, right? And they just make it pretty. But you know what I always say? Put them in like groups of three. Or threes, fives, sevens, things like that. So three, four, five, six. I might need to put, maybe I'll put some of these little round ones. Those would be fun. Fun to put some little round ones in there too, right? And they just kind of catch the light. And they they make a little different something. A little different something. And then, of course, I have these words. And so we might want to put April um, flowers. Here's one that says flowers. So I might stick this one and put flowers right there. Um, April showers or blooming. We could put the word blooming. That sounds pretty. And this has all kinds of different um, holidays. So it has like turkey, Thanksgiving, fun, summer, patriot, um, snowflakes, festive, yuletide. And, but the cool thing about this, it has it in this um, craft color as well. So I don't know if you can still get this, but I like it. And I got it for Bible art journaling, but you can use it for mixed media. You can use it for anything really. Um, what else should I put on here? Should I use any of these? Happy, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's good for now. Let that think. I'll think about it some more. Maybe add some green at the bottom. I feel like it needs a little bit of like leaf, leaf shape. Maybe, maybe some leaf shape. And sometimes you can add a little bit of red to your green if you want to darken it just a little bit. I'm going to put this on the side. Just, um, it's burnt sienna, but I'm going to put it on the side and just dip just the tip in there and look how it mixes with that green and it makes it a little bit more like a sage color. I hope I'm not off the screen. Okay. I'm kind of off. Sorry. All right. So I just mixed a little bit of this in with this green. And look at how it's changing the green into like this darker sage green. So that gives you some more interest when you do that. Right? It gives it a little bit more. 
I'm just making kind of, I don't know if it's a grassy color. But now I kind of feel like I want a lime green. And can I open this yellow? No, I cannot open that yellow. That yellow does not want to be opened. Let's open this one. So I can do a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green. And I'm going to mix it over here just so that it's out of the painting in case I don't like how the color looks. But I'm going to mix it and you probably can't see, but it's off the screen. Here we go. So this is not really a palette. I just kind of used it right now as one. But it's, it's, it's interesting a little pan and that's the cool thing though about wash is you can use I mean you rinse it it's really easy easy to make a mess with but easy to clean it up with and I wanted to make these kind of like stems but they're really thick and see I'm almost covering up the paper I put on there like that's how, how extreme it gets when you start layering with your, with your um, papers. And then you go back in and you're like, you know what, I didn't even, I can't even see that paper anymore. And you might think that that was a waste of your paper, but I think it's the process. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the process of creating mixed media and the layers involved even if you don't end up using all the layers like if you don't see all the layers I should say I think that's kind of what makes mixed media so fun and abstracts really because I've been I've done some abstracts that are really so many layers and you're just like well you don't even see what you first put down and that's okay because it's just how it Oh, it ends up. Oh, y'all, I love how this looks. I really like it. But I don't know if I like all that black dots that I made. I don't know if I need to kind of tone them down. And get rid of some of them. I don't know. What do you think? Should I leave them alone? I feel like I should just cover them. Can I, can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, so like this part, I just kind of covered them up because I felt like they were just too, too much, too much, too much. But I can put paper over that corner. I can take some of this paper and glue it right in there. And then that might... That might segue into something totally different. It might make it like it's a sky poking through something. I don't know. Kind of like that. Kind of like it. And see, that's what's so cool about, about this. You can just keep playing. And I'm going to kind of mix that in. Dry my brush, and that just makes it kind of more cohesive. Maybe be, I don't know. It's definitely different. <laughs> yeah, the layers as well in different mediums. See, and I have like modeling paste. I have this is acrylic gesso. I bought the big stuff because I was gonna mix them. Mix some things that were gonna be um, that were gonna be um, like my own watercolor ground, so I could paint on my little wooden pieces. So like these are for Christmas time. I make um, Christmas ornaments, so I watercolor um, people's pets, and so these are little ones. I have bigger ones too, but you can't just paint on wood. You have to paint on watercolor ground because the watercolor just disappear basically into the wood it won't be on the surface 
and look pretty. But, um, so yeah, that's turning out pretty nice. And you know what else I have? Um, this is just like finding stuff everywhere in my office. I have these things that are probably older than dirt. And they're oil pastels. You ever use oil pastels? I don't know how to really use them, <laughs> but I have them. So I've got to like, let's fix, let's do something, right? So I could just put some oil pastels in there if I'm even using it right. I don't know. I can write um, different words in here. I can use um, this kind of beigey color. Um, I also watched this one guy, he's from Japan, and he does some kind of crayon, oil, pastel, and watercolor. He, he mixes, he does a few things. Let's see, I'm just kind of doing, doing a little bit with this stuff. Absorbent ground. Oh, and am I using mixed media paper? Um, so this is actually watercolor paper that, um, I don't know if it's Arches or if it's some cheaper brand. I can't remember now. I found it just laying on my table. So I do have both kinds of watercolor paper, um, I have like inexpensive stuff that I just use for doing mixed media on. And then I do have, this is Arches paper. Um, so it's really for watercoloring more than mixed media. But I am liking, I'm liking this. I might add the word joy over here. So yeah, crayons. You like crayons? I have not really used these a lot, so I'm not sure how I feel about them. Um, I feel like I should play with them more, is what I feel like. <laughs> I should play more with them. But I don't really know if I'm using them right. I should probably watch some videos and get some ideas. And if you're supposed to blend with them, I don't know. I said play with stuff and see if you like it I also have pastels that are um, chalk so those are fun to play with as well um, I don't know what do you think you think it turned out good let me move my little pan and we can just look at what I created and see if we like it, it might be done because look at what time it is it's almost 11 so I tried to go for about an hour um, so that y'all can start your week off on a Monday and have some fun and enjoy just creating. Um, I do have this Wincastella. Have you used Wincastella? So you squeeze out some of that and it's just kind of shiny. I don't know. This one might be dried up. I don't think so though. Oh, I can see shimmer. I can see some shimmer. This is clear, so it's kind of hard to see it, but it's kind of be it's kind of fun. But it's picking up some of that, and I don't know if I want to pick it off with these, but that's okay. So Winkastella is another product that you can get either at Michaels or buy on online through Stamping Up. Um, like I said, I am a demonstrator, but I'm more focused on creating watercolors and art for sale. I do a lot of art shows, local arts and craft shows. Um, I have done one in Orlando that turned out to be pretty awesome. It wasn't an art show, it was a um, animal expo. And, oh, you do like the markings with the pastels? Thanks. Turned out pretty, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, 
Yeah, I actually like this a lot better than the first one I did. And I think I have a photo of the first one so we can put side by side. I don't know if I have it in, in my computer. Sometimes I, oh, I do have it. So I could show this side by side and you tell me um, if I can do, if I can do that. So, um, and thank you for the hearts. Always love the hearts. So, and when I watch videos, I put hearts and my husband always laughs at me. He's like, why are you doing that? I said, it makes it so that they're happy. They see that I have given them hearts. And he'll be like, that's silly. <laughs> and maybe I am silly, right? Like, what's wrong with being silly? Um, so, I, oh, I almost have it. I have to resize it. And then I can show you. Show you side by side. So, we'll, we'll go back and forth. Look at this. How it used to look. And now how it looks totally different and not that the first one wasn't that great it was but I thought it was a little muddy um in the wings so this one I kind of like I kind of like this one I don't know I may end up adding adding some more stuff on um on this area because it just looks like I threw some paper randomly but um so I may end up doing more I can find my my book my old book that I had a bunch of pages torn out of and kind of already painted on so I wanted to use that but I can find it so I have to I might do some more um gluing of paper pages up here I also have some hymnal pages that are really cool um an old hymnal that I found at a thrift store and bought for like probably a dollar or two. <laughs> oh, Susie, you're silly too and playful. That's, you know what? That's great. I love it. Um, that's how I feel everyone should be is silly and um, playful and things like that. You know, it's just kind of fun, right? It's just fun. And I'm all about having some fun. And um, so I guess. Um, we're all done for today, um, but I do want to leave you with some scripture because um, well, I started with scripture for about trying something new, which is great. We all should try something new, but here's something to apologize for my little trick of um, April Fool's on y'all, um, and it says, Ephesians 4.32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you so forgive me if I was pulling your leg about quitting it was all in good fun and just having a little silliness on my channel but um I hope you all have a blessed day I love you all thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video